In a previous video, I showed you how to use a template in Power Automate to send an email whenever a task in Planner was completed. However, when we were finished, the email didn't really look ideal. In fact, if you look closely, the completed by shows an ID instead of display name. So we want to be able to see the actual person's name who completed that. Also, notice that everything shows up in one line, even though in the flow itself, when we look at that same email step, we see everything broken out onto separate lines. And that's because this particular template that Power Automate has uses HTML view instead of actually the rich text editor. So for that to actually break into multiple lines, first of all, you could just use BR for break inside of brackets, and that would break each line onto its own. But what I'd recommend for those of you who aren't comfortable with HTML is actually just cutting or copying all of that content in there. So we'll cut that, and then notice this uh, button for HTML view appears as something we can now click. If you choose that, notice then you can use that rich text editor, so something much more comfortable. And you can just paste whatever you had right back in there. This way there's no need to add a, a break, right, or that BR at all, so everything should show up in its own line. Now the main thing that we're focused on here, looking back at this email, is we want this completed by to actually show that display name. And in Power Automate, uh, the dynamic content that's available for a completed task actually doesn't include the completed by display name. In fact, if we just look on the dynamic content panel here now and search for completed, the only option we have is completed date time, right? But we do have created by display name, just maybe not as helpful for, for an email that's being sent about the completion. So in this case, what we're gonna do is actually take out this uh, completed by dynamic content that it gave us, which is actually just an expression, and we're gonna replace it with something we have to build ourselves. So it sounds kind of complicated, but I promise it's not. Just follow with me step by step and be sure to copy the expression that's in the description or in the associated blog post of this video so to save yourself a little bit of typing, right? We'll make this as easy as possible. So uh, between your trigger and the email step or whatever your second step happens to be where you're trying to fix this issue, insert a new step. Okay, so you just click on the plus sign, click on add an action, and the step that we're looking for is called get user profile. Okay, there we go, get user profile v2 there, I'll click on that. And then click inside that user field in that new step. And remember, we don't have completed by as available dynamic content. So we're going to have to use an expression. But don't worry, we're just going to copy paste. So we go into expression. And then this is where you need to look in the description or in the blog post to copy the, the string of text that looks like this. It starts with trigger outputs. And then it ends with this completed by slash user slash ID. All right? Once you've got that copied and pasted in there, just click on OK. And now when you go into that email step, or maybe it's a Teams message step, you can click where you want to put the display name. So for me, it's right after completed by, and then we can use this dynamic content from our new step, the get user profile. So I'll choose display name. And now my email should look like task title has been completed, completed by display name on two separate lines this time. And then anything else I want to type in here, I can, right? Maybe I do want to add something like, let's see what our options are here could put in maybe the completed date time. So we'll do completed date time, and then we'll search our dynamic content for completed. We'll throw that in there. And then let's just go ahead and call that good for now. We'll click on save. And of course we wanna test this. So we'll do a test, use a recently uh, used trigger. So we don't have to complete a brand new task, right? Minimize our mess a little bit. We'll wait for that to finish. Awesome, we'll check the result. And there we go, this looks a lot better, right? So we've got the, the, the broken lines there, we got to use the rich text editor instead of HTML, and then here's that nice display name instead of an ID. So good luck, let me know if you have any questions in the comments.